the internet and being outraged at something. It feels like a tale as old as time at this point, and in the most recent rounds of things to be upset about, it's Hogwarts Legacy. A game set in the Harry Potter universe where you get to be a wizard and do wizard things, I guess. That's the thing that people are upset about right now. But not because you're a wizard in promoting witchcraft, no, it has to do with the author of the original Harry Potter series. And before we dive deep into this, you'll notice the distinct lack of Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. Uh, that has nothing to do with my feelings about the situation, and it has everything to do with the fact that I really don't care about Harry Potter. Uh, I tried to read the books, I watched pretty much all of the movies, and I just, I don't really care for the Harry Potter universe all that much, so this game was not something I had any intent of really ever playing, so therefore, didn't buy it, not playing it. People are upset at Hogwarts Legacy because, like I said, J.K. Rowling is associated with it, and she has some pretty shit takes about trans people and some other topics, I guess. Uh, like I said, I don't really like Harry Potter, therefore I don't follow J.K. that much. Uh, though, I guess from what I have seen, she's not the greatest of people, and she holds some pretty uh, bad views on trans people. And being as she created Harry Potter... This game is going to get the brunt of the force with that because in some capacity she will be benefiting from this. It's giving a pretty big spotlight on the Harry Potter universe. I'm sure in some capacity she gets residuals because it is her property that the game is utilizing. Uh, though, she's not the one that created the game. As far as I'm aware, she had no creative input on the game. She just isn't associated with the game in any other sense than the fact that she wrote the books initially. Um, and that really is ticking people off, and they're saying if you play Hogwarts Legacy, that you are anti-trans, that you are automatically a bad person. Um, and I think that is the most online take I have heard in quite some time. <laughs> the fact that if you want to play a video game created by people, uh, hundreds if not thousands of people who are passionate about something, if you want to play that game, you are a bigot and you are transphobic. I find that completely outlandish, and let me give you the reasons why. If you are going to die on that hill, that Hogwarts Legacy benefits J.K. Rowling, therefore you can't support it, you shouldn't support it because you're supporting her who is a bad person, you should honestly not support almost anything. If you're talking about video games, Activision Blizzard, they have some pretty, uh, some pretty heavy allegations of sexual assault in that company. Do you use a phone? If you have an iPhone, uh, do you hate Apple? Because I'm pretty sure your phone is made from child slave labor. So the fact that people are choosing this hill to die on is honestly crazy to me because in almost any other aspect of your life, you are also in some way, shape, or form supporting people who are just inherently shitty. If you've watched a movie, I'm sure you've watched a movie, Harvey Weinstein is in some way associated with. So with that point of logic where... If you play Hogwarts Legacy, you're transphobic because you're supporting J.K. Rowling. If you watched a movie Harvey Weinstein is associated with, you must hate women and sexually assault people all the time. It's kind of the same train of thought. And I have nothing against people that are steadfast in their views and their beliefs. If you think J.K. Rowling is a piece of shit, which as far as I'm aware she is, good for you. I am glad. But that shouldn't deter you from playing a video game if you genuinely want to play it. You are playing a video game you want to enjoy, and people are catching so much flack online for this, and I'm sure I will in this video in some capacity too. If you want to play a video game, play the video game, because at the end of the day, almost every single company, there's going to be somebody who is a piece of shit behind anything. JK Rowling probably doesn't have too much of an association with this game, again, other than the fact that she created the IP to begin with. And for the record, I'm not trying to say that because there's so many bad people in these industries that they should automatically be given a pass. What I'm attempting to get across is there's probably some much more important things than canceling somebody because they are playing a video game that has to do with a franchise that they love. It's okay to have strong opinions about things, but just because someone doesn't go about expressing it the same way you do doesn't automatically mean that they're against you. Playing a video game doesn't mean that you're transphobic. Owning a smartphone doesn't mean that you love exploitation and child labor. All in all, it is okay to have opinions on things. If you don't want to purchase Hogwarts Legacy because to you, that is you supporting somebody who is transphobic, then that is perfectly fine. But other people who bought the game, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are supporting someone who's transphobic. They don't have to agree with J.K. Rowling's views, but maybe they really like the Harry Potter IP. 
You don't have to drag somebody down for enjoying something they like. Video games aren't an inherently flawed form of entertainment, and we don't need to be making it seem like this case is. That's all I really got for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd like to have an actual civil discussion about this. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.